Hello everybody, at this point it has been about a week since the brand new update for the Angler released, uh, this one dubbed the Evolution Update, and I figured that I would give you guys a brief little rundown of my first thoughts on the game, or not the game, but of the uh, brand new update after a week of playing it pretty much like 7 plus hours a day. I have been super, super into the Angler ever since this update dropped, and it's definitely the best update they've ever released in terms of just making the game a lot better than it was on launch. We're also going to be going over a crazy hotspot for Muskie and exactly how I guarantee gold or better every single time for them, so stay tuned for that. And then at the very end, we will go through all the golds and diamonds that we have got throughout the week. In the background, you're going to be seeing some gold, Muskie, and Pike. These are all ones that I caught within about an hour the other night. Uh, what I've been doing is I put on a size 2 hook with a minnow and then just cast it out in front of me and wait. It usually takes between 10 and 20 minutes to get a bite, but whenever I do get a bite, it's guaranteed to be gold or diamond. Now, I will put up the spot real quickly because this is the location that you're going to want to go to if you want to get these muskies super consistently along with the pike. This is a known diamond muskie location and it very often will give you a ton of golds as well so this is where i would recommend going if you're going to do this but yeah just do the size to hook with the minnows as well as the strongest uh, spinning setup that you can possibly get the one that i'm using is the mission rod from the troll sport at mission so that is a option if you don't want to have to spend all the time earning the tokens and reputation to actually be able to purchase the best spinning rod from the shop. The one that you get from the missions on Troll Sport is close enough and there's quite a bit of guides throughout the internet on how to actually acquire it. So I definitely recommend doing that if you don't have a good spinning rod in real. And then after that, it's just a matter of casting out and waiting for a bite. And remember, this can take a decent bit of time. So be prepared to have occasions where you may have to wait 20 or 30 minutes to get a bite, but it will be worth it in the end if you're just trying to farm those uh, gold and diamond tokens. But now that we've gone over that, let's go ahead and talk about the update a little bit because this was a very, very good step in the right direction for the game. Now, a lot of you will know that from the very beginning, I did enjoy the Angler at least a decent amount. When it first came out, I played it for about a month before I kind of exhausted all the content that it had launched with. From the beginning, I had always liked it and it's only got better throughout time. I know there was a lot of people that hated it on launch. There's a lot of people that still hate it, but I've always really enjoyed it. And I mean, I feel like that shows with the fact that I've still been posting it from time to time, regardless of the fact that nobody seems to really care too much about watching it compared to at least the Hunter Call of the Wild. But I still really enjoy the game, so I'm still making content on it. And I think that speaks volumes in my opinion. But we're getting to a point in this game's life cycle where a lot of people are starting to notice the changes that they have been making and this update was really a massive step in the right direction and has got a lot of people's attention that didn't previously enjoy the game. And I do think that once the console launch happens, this is going to become a decently popular fishing game on there as well because of the cross-platform features as well as all the stuff that we already know about like open world and things like that. But this update really did just step it up a notch with the new progression system. They made it a little bit more rewarding and just feels a lot better than it did before. And after a full week of playing this update, I can definitely say it feels a lot better. It feels way more rewarding whenever you catch a big fish. It uh, feels more enjoyable to fish because of all the brand new species. The leveling system seems a little bit more... Uh, I, what's the word? I guess it just feels a little bit better. It doesn't feel as redundant as before because there was really nothing to look forward to from leveling up aside from getting coins but now with this new system you unlock tackle and stuff like that until a specific level where you no longer have stuff to unlock you also have a lot more things to work for because you get coins per fish now which means just fishing is going to be progressing you towards uh, getting that new tackle and stuff and there's now reputation requirements and token requirements for a lot of the better gear in the game so I do think the leveling arc is a lot better than it was previously though there is definitely still some room for improvement obviously but it's in a much better place than it was. And now we move over to the actual like uh, revamp to the water. It's definitely a lot better. There's still a few occasions where I run into a place on the map where I wish the water worked a little bit differently, but it is a massive improvement. I think my biggest gripe is still the waterfalls and the way they kind of connect to the more still water because it just doesn't look supernatural. And then there's occasions where it almost feels like the waves are a bit too big for some of the rivers like there's some parts of the river where you see like actual 
weird, just strange looking waves near the rapids and it, they don't look natural at all. So I think their biggest, uh, their biggest issue right now really is like the waterfalls still. They really need to find a way to get those to look a little bit better. Anytime you're within like a hundred feet of a waterfall, the water just doesn't look right. But again, like I said, it's a massive step in the right direction with the water. And I would like to see them change a little bit more in the future to tweak it even further and get it to look a bit more lifelike. Another big thing that came with this update was the Taylor's Tackle Academy missions. And they kind of just walk you through all the different, uh, I guess, features of the game and kind of explain everything to you while helping you achieve certain things like catching a goldfish and uh, other stuff similar. And it does just kind of explain how to play the game. And I do recommend that regardless of whether you're a new player or a veteran to the game, you got to play them because there is some very good rewards at the end of the quest line. You guys may have seen my uh, fancy flame boat that I drive around now in the videos and streams. That is from the uh, Taylor's Tackle Academy. You also get a bunch of like gold and diamond tokens and stuff like that. It's well worth doing. So I would recommend it if you guys have not got into that already. If they continue to put out updates like this, I really feel like it's only a matter of time before the angler becomes the most popular fishing game out there because they're moving in the right direction with more maps and fish and stuff like that being added in the future and hopefully new fishing techniques and maybe even a trophy lodge. They can get all of that stuff into the game. I can see this becoming a much more popular game than it already is. And now with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the highlights from this week of fishing because we've got quite a few diamonds and golds to show off. Uh, we've already shown off a lot of them while I was talking, but let's show off the remainder now because there was some crazy ones. Cause I want to get, I want to get a big catfish. There was a lot of catfish there. Tony got two diamond catfish there. Like I really want a diamond catfish. Diamonds. That is that a perch? Tony, I'm not asking because oh I'm my gosh, fishing. It's a perch. You're, you're, I'm not. Ooh, oh perch. my gosh, a gold perch, really? Two Tony. golds on the day. Let's go. Whatever this is, is half decent. Half decent pike. Half oh. decent pike. There we go. I got Not mine bad. on as well. That's a good one. Oh, it's pulling out line. Let's go. It's pulling out line. I think that's a pike too. I think it's a pike actually pulling line out. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, deer hunter. That's uh, thanks to John, Zach, and Austin. They keep everybody green in my chat. Oh, bro, so. this is for sure a gold. This is for sure at least a gold. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've had like big silver musky, like 13, 14 pounds. They didn't pull any line out. This guy's pulling line. Okay, okay. And I'm on 50% drag as well with the uh, like mission um, spinning rod. Mission spinning rod, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Somebody just left our reserve if anybody wants to join. Oh, it's, is that a pike? I think it's a pike, dude. I think this is a giant pike. Yeah, it's a yeah. pike. I, oh gosh, he keeps getting away, dude. Like I'm trying to land him and the space bar keeps going away. Yeah, that, is on, that gonna on, be your on. first Got diamond? Him. Oh, he's so big. <laughs> he's so oh, close. Man. Gold. What a gold night, pike. dude. Three golds and a diamond already. Yeah. I know. Holy. I've caught more cutthroats than anything, and they've been the biggest ones on average. 
And that looks like another cut through. Ooh, that's a... Okay, that one's putting a little bit of, uh... A little bit of tension on it. This might... Oh, my... Oh! Oh! That's... That's... That might be a gold cutthroat? Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's my new record by a pound! <laughs> Are we not in the same map? Oh, my gosh! You might not be. I just got a 9.78 pound cutthroat. Oh, ha. I know what happened. I, uh, oh I had everything turned off for the video that I made today. What's my favorite game? It's a game called Escape from Tarkov. I don't really play it much anymore, though, because there's a really bad cheating issue in the game. Like, it's really tough to get into a lobby without hackers. Oh my gosh, that's another giant cutthroat. Is that another gold cutthroat, bro, bro? Nice. Another gold cutthroat, 8.56 pounds. What is happening? <laughs> That's you gonna a big show me your catfish. diamond wall I spot? I already showed it to you. <laughs> what are you talking but, I mean, about, bro? Are you gonna like are you gonna walk me through it though? I mean, yes, I tried to yesterday and you were like, No, I'm gonna go to the bridge. We weren't we weren't fishing for walleye then. <laughs> yeah, but I was still trying to show it to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got a gold catfish already. Yeah, I was going to say, nice catfish. Holy crap. 13 pounds. Let's go. That's my first gold catfish. Dude, what's Is going really? on the last... Yes, that's my first gold channel cat. I don't really fish nice. for them that much until this update. Uh, maybe one of these days, cold boy. Maybe one of these days. When are they releasing it to console? They will release it probably within the next two weeks based on what they said on the live stream last. It sounds like it is going to be um, August, so it will be this month, as far as we can tell. Oh, wow, I go mute and I get a gold cutthroat. <laughs> I know, I was waiting for you to say something. Oh my I gosh, was I was talking to, to chat something. and then gold cutthroat, yes. Oh, I love the gold cutthroat, they're so pretty. And this right here is where we transition into some of the diamond trophies of the last week. We also have one diamond that is from a couple weeks ago, but I haven't put it in a video yet, so it's going to go in here as well. It'll be the only one off of Troll Sport Reserve. Um, but this first one that we're looking at right now was a beautiful diamond channel cat that honestly kind of caught me off guard. I was just listening to music, uh, fishing this spot with a larger hook than normal, and Hoping that I could get something good to bite. I didn't expect it to happen so quickly though and this beautiful catfish ended up biting and this is one of the longer fights that I've had since the update. This catfish was not messing around. It was a pretty decent sized one and it put up a really incredible fight. It's not my biggest uh, diamond catfish ever as I did do the uh, diamond missions back during the first month of release and that one ended up being massive like over 26 pounds. So sadly, this is not my new record, but it is still a diamond catfish nonetheless, and those things are not exactly easy to find, or at least they didn't used to be until this update. And even after the update, they're still not, like, easy, obviously, but they're a little bit better than they used to be for sure. That roach looks so, pretty nice, dude. So um, what we're fishing for is a roach, like Crow's looking for. He may have a diamond going I, for This This is, looks about double the size of that silver I just caught. <laughs> Well, that might be a diamond then. Uh -huh. Brett, we are at this lake right here. This right here is the starting outpost. So you're going to want to come all the way down here. You'll have to drive up here in order to get this fast travel location. But this has a potential for diamond roach and diamond bream, which are two good fish to look for when you're first starting out. And then we're actually going to set up our rods here. We're going to go with a pretty light setup, so we're going to go with the oh. close setup. What, oh my it gosh, diamond? it's a diamond! Diamond, nice! Oh. Yes. Nice! Well, if you guys needed any uh, reason to go here, this is it. <laughs> there you go. 3.21, that's insane. That's awesome. That's Holy. awesome. So what, what, what hook size were you using? I was using size 8. Size 8 with bloodworms. <laughs> size 8 with bloodworms. So that's what we're going to use for our, for our roach. Oh, that's a big perch again, I think. Sturgy, sturgy, sturgy. I think I got another good perch on, dude. Nice. I'm calling in the sturgeon. Oh, oh that looks good. <gasps> oh! It's a diamond! Yes! A diamond, diamond perch! perch! He got a diamond oh perch! Oh my gosh! I haven't got one of these since the game first released when they were nice. easy. Nice. Oh my gosh! Wait, diamond wait. perch! Are you messing Let's with me? Let's go. No, no. I've got me? it on stream right now. 
All right. Oh, hey, wait. 2.12 two pounds, 1.13 feet. I got uh, 1% XP on my uh, Bloodworm, so that's fun. Five second cast or uh, reel in time, 55.70 Fahrenheit, 501 score. There you go, bro, bro. I read off all the stats to you. <laughs> If I had to choose between never playing the angler or never playing the hunter call of the wild, what would I choose? I mean, I'd have to choose never play the angler because the hunter oh. call of the wild is literally what I built my channel off of. My heart. Now, money. take money out of the equation. Okay. What would you rather play? I'd... I mean, there's no great ones in angler, so... But knowing that... Knowing the... Now taking into account the lifespans of the game games i don't know really because then you'd be stuck playing uh this might be a big rainbow hold up oh oh yeah! yes let's freaking it. go diamond rainbow trap diamond nice. rainbow holy crap that turned everything around nice dude this now. is the spot where people have been catching big cutthroats and brookies too where? Holy, I'm at the spot that used to be insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's nice. good again. This spot is insane again. 